In this video, I will demonstrate uh, the working of, of three concepts uh, as part of a project. Um, the three concepts I'm going to talk about is first, how to play a wave file, a dot wave file. Um, we looked at how to convert it, convert uh, to a C declaration. We saw that um, how to do that using Octave or MATLAB um, slash MATLAB. Uh, but what we will see now is in a in a in a um, Kyle uh, in a Kyle project we will see how we can take this C declaration and um, and uh, put it into our program so our microcontroller when connected to a a DAC um, this is from your um, let's say you have a four bit DAC from your lab seven uh, sorry lab six. Uh, which is con connected to let's say uh, a speaker um, then we will be able to play this uh, out to uh, as an analog signal out um, so we'll, we'll see I uh, will experience the whole a uh, whole process to see how that's done um, this that's the first thing the second thing I'm going to show you is um, how to use the um, how to use um, the timer um, uh, timer that is uh, available uh, and uh, how to use that timer to uh, play sound um, now we can use the timer for various things but i like to use it in this context just to play this uh, this sound file um, sound declaration the third thing i'm going to show you is how to use um, buttons, uh, how to uh, use buttons, um, button um, as an button programming using interrupts. So, in other words, um, what we're gonna do is uh, we will we will use our two buttons on our on our uh, on our. Um, uh, launch pad uh, which are switch 1 which is on PF4 and switch 2 which is on PF0 we will program them in such a way that uh, rather than polling them so uh, we've been mostly uh, programming these using polling uh, but now we will use interrupts so these are also sometimes re referred to as edge triggered interrupts so I will not be able to um, walk you through all the steps, but this project that I'm going to be uh, demonstrating and is going to be available uh, on on the class website will do all three of these. Um, so the idea here will be that I will uh, I will get a couple of these wave files and I will um, uh, program them in such a way that if I if I uh, press this button then I will play a sound that will come out of here will be let's say a, a, a fire sound uh, if you uh, this is a firing of a missile or something uh, or, a, or, a, or a gun uh, whereas if you press uh, the other button let's say you press this button then I will play a rocket launch rocket sound so so both these um, you may recall that I I downloaded some um, I downloaded some uh, art from open game art dot org um, so uh, let me write that in a clearer way um, let me spell it out in big words that is open game art dot o r g uh, it may be in lower case but you'll figure that out um, so i downloaded a few a few wave files from here and i two of those were one was called f launch um, dot wave 
I've converted it to an flaunch.txt and there was an rlaunch.wave so this is going to be my uh, fire and this is going to be my my rocket launch so I will um, first play those sounds so that you see how they sound this is the F launch and I'm just playing this on my computer using a simple so uh, free software called audacity so the rocket launch has a, has more it's more expansive in its sound so we'll take these two sounds and play them uh, what we have currently in the project is I already have so this is my wave play project and in my wave play project it's pretty straightforward uh, it's as simple as I can possibly uh, get uh, I just have Texas in it I have a DAC which is a 4-bit DAC I have a button in it I've enabled interrupt and I'm doing nothing in my loop and my loop is not doing anything because everything is interrupt based so I'm going to use the timer interrupt to play sound and I'm going to use the button interrupt to decide what sound to play. So um, my buttons, um, once I program them, um, the initialization will, there's a explanation of this initialization in the ebook on edge triggered interrupts. I urge you to look at that. Um, but once I set it up, um, this port F handler will be run. That is my interrupt that will occur and I set it up so that both uh, the interrupt will occur on whenever port F anything happens on port F and port F has these two buttons um, PF0 and PF1 if PF0 um, uh, is is pressed then uh, this this RIS flag will be set and I will check whether that is there and I play this sound currently I'm playing a sound called clear and another sound called drop drop when pf4 is set and clear when pf0 is set and um, and these sounds are i have previously programmed them um, i'll share these sounds also with you um, and and these uh, these functions play sound play sound are uh, clear and play sound drop are part of a sound.c and as um, as uh, we mentioned in class uh, there is an important step you have to do when you write uh, 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 interrupt service routine uh, for edge triggered interrupts um, which is to acknowledge the interrupt so we acknowledge that both have been processed by doing this icr register the icr register will clear these ris bits so that the interrupt doesn't keep happening again and again so um, so that's our button uh, our sound um, sound uh, function uh, file is a little a little larger but what you will notice is there are two wave files these both uh, both these have been um, have been created uh, the both these c declarations came from my um, my conversion of a uh, of a couple of uh, uh, sound waves that I had one uh, for my Tetris game where uh, when a when a Tetris block is dropped I play the drop sound when a line is cleared I play the clear sound so I'm going to um, just first um, walk you through it um, I've declared uh, uh, the bus clock as uh, the frequency at which the uh, the the samples that the wave file is converted to remember that the wave file was you just we just got this wave file somewhere from the internet but what the script did the matlab script or octave script did is it converted it into a uh, four bit samples each of them is four bits and the frequency it is scale the frequency or down sample the frequency so that the frequency is exactly 11000 25 hertz this is a pretty standard size because most often when you download stuff um, from the internet they're probably recorded at a 44.1 kilohertz and so this is a quarter of that we downsample by a fourth so this is exactly a quarter of 44.1 which is a very standard number for uh, for uh, for sound waves sound files so we just downsampled it by a quarter so that's my sample frequency uh, I have these two 
two um, wave uh, files which I converted. I'm calling them drop wave and clear wave. Their lengths, um, this is an array of 3184 samples. This is an array of 5885 uh, samples. And I have a global variable called sound to play, uh, which I'm gonna use. Um, I, I could have used it um, to decide which sound to play. And um, and I'm I and um, and I'm currently I so all I really do is uh, is uh, you I, I made it as a global variable so that you can also change it uh, irrespective of without the use of a button we could have set it somewhere through some game feature if you will for now I'm just going to use it as a variable inside inside this file. So every time you call play sound, I set that global variable sound to play to whatever sound you want me to play. And I initialize the timer. What the timer does, um, the way the timer is initialized is you're saying how frequently you want the timer to interrupt, which is the second part, which is simply um, we're calculating the, the tick by taking the bus clock and dividing by the sample frequency, whatever that number is, that's how frequently I want to interrupt because that's, that's the, that's the uh, calculation we have for our, our timers, timers period. So it's gonna, it's gonna interrupt um, periodically and every time it interrupts, it's gonna call this function called play sample. So, so you don't have to touch the timer one in it, timer one dot C at all. It's, it's completely a, a box, a closed box for you. All you need to know is how to call it. You, you pass it, the second parameter is a period. The first parameter is a function, a pointer to a function. That's why we're passing the address of play sample, which is this function that I wrote here. And I'm gonna say, every time the interrupt occurs, I want you to call this function called play sample. And I do that by using this notion of a function pointer. So that's pretty much it. So now, every time an interrupt occurs, it's gonna call play sample. What do I do in play sample? I call my DAC out. Now, one of the things I, I made my code with somewhat modular and what I did is for ev every sound that I can I have, I, um, I can possibly have, I have a structure that I declared which has a wave, which is, which is basically the, um, the a pointer, if you will, a pointer to the sound samples array and a length which is how how long this array the array is so that's all so that i can declare this is very similar to what we did with our fsm i have two sounds one is a drop sound which is the here is a wave for the sound here is a length for the sound here is a clear here is a length for the clear and i i will um every time a uh, play sample is called I know which sound to play because the global variable was set by sound to play. I go into the sounds array, grab the correct correct uh, sound uh, structure, and then I grab the wave element out of it, and I play a sample. I'm using this variable called index, p index. I'm going to set this p index initially equal to zero, um, zero to start with, and every time I, uh, every time the DAC out um, runs, it's gonna increment P index by one. So, uh, so that when P index becomes greater than or equal to the length of my length of my sound, then I stop the timer because I don't want the timer to run. This is because I want the sound to be a one shot sound and we'll see how we can change this. So I'm gonna save all this, I'm gonna build it, I'm gonna flash it, I've connected it a board, um, to, to this, I'm gonna show you the board in just a second. I'm gonna load it onto the board and let's watch the board in action. And so here is a video of the board in action. So here's my board and I will bring it into focus. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first reset it and I just flashed it and and let me let me hit the first button. This is switch one. That's my that's my drop drop of a piece. 
and this second button here is my this is this is when uh, this is the run clearing of a line so when a line is cleared i play that when that is that when i um, drop a button i do that now i can change a couple of things if i were to just comment this line out here so if i were to comment this which means that i'm not going to stop it it's going to continuously play if i now load it what you will notice is um, now if i let's uh, let's go back to our video again now if i were to um, let's reset and now when i as long oops uh, I don't believe I rebuilt it. Let me rebuild it and and flash it again. So the, the assumption is that now that I didn't stop it, once it starts, it keeps running. So if I hit the button now, let's reset it. And if I hit the button, so it continues to run. If I change the sound, the other sound plays. So let's let's stop it. And so this is a simple demonstration. Now I'm going to show you how I can I can bring in a v a sound from from um, something that I just created. So let's go and grab our declaration from Octave. Here is a F launch and R launch, and I'm going to take um, the F launch from here, and I'm going to cut it from here, bring it into my code, and notice how simple it is for me to just add another sound. I'm just going to paste it here. This, I'm gonna call this, this is my rocket launch. I'll call this, uh, I don't like that. This is my rocket sound. I'm gonna call that a rocket wave. And I will change this number from here, take this number out of here and call that the rocket um, length, rocket sound length. And I will hash define a rocket length I'm just making it very simple um, and I'm gonna paste it there so now it, now I can add another sound to my 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 sound uh, database simply by just saying okay here's a new one here is my now it this is I'm gonna call this a uh, rocket wave and this is my rocket length and now I have a new sound that I added. Okay. So I'm intended to make these cons. So I think that's why it was complaining. Um, I had accidentally removed that word const and that's why it is complaining about it. So I'll make sure that these are const. And you want them to be cons because, um, because these can get really big and you have plenty of ROM and not as much RAM, so there's no point trying to make them um, a, 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 a modifiable because they they're they're constants. They shouldn't be modified. They're just a, a sound sample dump. So I've uh, I added those. Uh, what I'm also gonna do is I'm going to um, uh, add to my sound dot edge. I have a new sound that I added. This new sound is gonna be called fire. Um, uh, or actually I'll call this a rocket. I added a rocket sound. Um, I'll add another sound, but for now I'll just leave it with one sound. Um, and now in my buttons, I'm gonna change this um, this uh, sound for a, for a drop, from a drop to I'm gonna make it a rocket. So I added the rocket sound in my sound.edge so that's an enumerated data type so now i have a new new sound and in my buttons i'm going to do a rocket instead so that's all i have to do that now i change my sound from whatever the drop sound was to a rocket sound and i can always go back to another one or use another feature in my game to make it make it that sound so let's go ahead and build this um, and 
hopefully there are no errors uh, and we will double check our sound.c so everything else here is need not be touched we just added this thing and we gave it a new name and now we're gonna load it onto our machine uh, i had turned it off let's turn it back on um, okay let's load it onto our machine and now let's bring that view back while it's flashing um, it's a big file so you uh, it took a little longer to do it because that's a pretty long uh, 30,000 samples so I'm gonna go in here um, reset my machine and that is our new sound this is still the clearing line but now I have a button. so other than that the code is exactly the same so um, so I hope this makes sense um, adding sound should be pretty straightforward um, so uh, uh, I will let you um, uh, exercise this idea of the three um, three concepts of a wave file timer and button programming to make your game more more fun and interactive